Hey. Hey. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Diesel and you are watching the Shades and Souls channel. Alright guys, I know most of you guys know that this channel is mainly for shoe unboxings, shoe reel reviews, which is my version of performance reviews. But sometimes, sometimes, when I do encounter a shade from Oakley, and Oakley is the only brand of shades I wear, I make a video out of it because I have passion. Uh, for the brand, okay, and this is the only eyewear that I wear. I wear that I wear, whatever. All right. So today we're gonna be talking about the Holbrook Ti. Just, just a heads up. I've already worn this yesterday. I just got this yesterday, and I wore it right away, so that I could tell you guys how they feel, despite the numbers and uh, dimensions of the shades. Okay, numbers don't lie. That's number one, but different factors may make it feel different and th this is the reason why i had to wear it that way i could explain to you guys how they feel different despite the numbers it's showing all right uh i know i babble too much on intros and shit like that so if you guys want to skip down to the chapters or some parts of the video i will put a uh, different time frame timeline down below that's up to you guys where you want to skip at okay so here's the box that it came with okay Holbrook TI, TI means titanium. I got the satin chrome, prism black colorway. All right, <clears throat> there you go. Nothing special about the box, but before anything else, let's do a product description read. Again, if you don't like this part of the video, just skim through uh, the different time timeline right there. So Holbrook TI, it costs 268 bucks right there, okay? And let's go to the product description. <clears throat> All right, Holbrook TI. Evolves the Holbrook design with razor thin, lightweight titanium frame. This style is constructed from premium titanium that showcases Oakley's large square frame Holbrook design. The sunglass features prism lens technology designed to enhance color and contrast, while a three point fit helps provide all day comfort. Prism, okay, they got prism, they got polarized, they got their normal lenses. As I have explained to you guys before, the only lens that I wear is prism. And the reason for that is set in another video that I will put down in the description box below. Okay, details within the details. Design, Holbrook inspired lens shape and frame design. Frame material constructed of an ultra lightweight, ultra strong corrosion resistant titanium. Adjustable nose pads. I will show you guys what the adjustable nose pads look like and why they are adjustable. Adjustable clear grip fit nose pads help provide the ideal fit and seamless look. Oakley prescription lenses. Available with Oakley authentic prescription lenses that come laser etched with the ellipse logo on left wearing lens for proof of Oakley authenticity and quality. See more details available with prism lens tech that is engineered to enhance color contrast to see more detail. <sighs> there you go. I read, I read everything. We'll get through the dimensions later. All right. And as for the tech, the prism tech and uh, other lenses at Oakley, like I said, I'll put it down in the description box below to where I described it and why I pick Oakley's over any other shades. <coughs> Enough talk, Dizo. All right. Let's get to the damn shades, man. Jeez. All right. So I. I keep my boxes for some reason, I don't know why, but how I open them may help you guys out if you guys don't want to damage a box, okay? So this is very, like, if this is brand new, like, this is very hard to open. The way you do it is compress this portion, so now it, it exposes this part, and then you just slid through. That's that easy. I don't I don't want to scratch my boxes. I, I don't know why, but I just don't, okay? And then pull this off, okay? What surprised me with this? particular shades I didn't expect it because most of the time if they are not that premium they just give you a uh, a pouch but this one came with a case all right and this is the case that it came with I've had cases like this before but uh, just still surprised at times look at this like okay this is this is pretty damn small all right so I, I was getting kind of nervous because I have a big head okay you have a big head a big circumference in my head so this is how it came with. Again, I already used this. I just repackaged this to show you guys um, how, it, how, it, how it looks when it comes off the box. 
so obviously it's gonna have some stickers here but i already put pull off the stickers but here's a picture of me just having the stickers on them all right so you know this is brand new and then it came with this plastic and then uh, i always throw this plastic and this that means nothing okay so here are the shades all right the shades itself why did I want this? If you guys know, I am a big fan of Holbrooks. Let me just show you guys real quick. Okay, so here we go. So, as you guys can see, those are the other Holbrooks in my lineup currently. But I've had... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 6 pairs of Holbrooks plus this, which makes it 7. Okay, what's the difference with the other... Yeah, you could say color, but <clears throat> the reason why I don't wear this much is because this is not an XL. Okay, whole books come with, I can't talk about this, about the TIs, without talking about the history of it. And I'm sorry, this is just how it's going to go. If you guys don't want the explanation, again, I said, go to the uh, time, time lapse, time frames, whatever it's called. All right, so these whole books are regular whole books. Although that this is why I say the numbers numbers don't lie, but in this case it kind of does. All right, so regular whole book frames are 57 um, in 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 lens sizing. Okay, <coughs> 57, and then the XLs are made with 59. Okay, what does that mean? So that means the width the width of the lenses from here from one end to the other. Is either 57 millimeters or 59 millimeters now how does that translate to the frame each I think this I think that the, the term is bridge gap or something 18 millimeters bridge gap is this portion right bridge gap is this portion right here between your nose so the bridge gaps can be the same, but because of the lens, of the width of the lens, it becomes a little bit wider, which makes the frame supposed to be, right? The frame from one end to the other, okay? On regular ones, the 57 millimeters are gonna be this. This is an XL, although it's not written here. The reason why this is not written is because I, I had this customized. There are no numbers shown in the customized, but I did order an XL for this. You guys can even see. Let's see that if I, I'm trying to make you guys see. <coughs> I even have my name on there, Diesel. That's why it's not etched with. <coughs> excuse me. Jesus Christ. This one was a special edition Moto GP. Right? You guys can see that. My frame is. There you go. Moto GP. But traditionally, it's going to say prism or polarized, or if it's just regular lens, it's not going to say nothing. It's just going to have a, a Oakley branding. You guys see that's prism right there. Okay, back to my discussion. So this is 59. You guys, you guys are not going to be able to see this. You guys are not even going to be able to tell. All right, let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison. Like, if you're going to look at it, and the eye test, you guys can't tell. This is where you can tell it. Nose bridge to nose bridge. Okay. Nose bridge to nose bridge. I'm putting both down right there. You guys can see. Right? As you guys can see, the one to my right is actually wider. This one is wider. You guys see the difference? So, me having a big head right me having a big head I can't I it's not that I can't wear this it's just that when I wear it it's gonna it's gonna if you're gonna look over my head it's gonna open up like this whereas this one is gonna stay relaxed all right so it's gonna stay relaxed because like I said I have a wide circumference in the head now the reason why I say numbers lie is because if you check out if you check out the dimensions over here on their website okay lens width is 57 frame width is 133 these are the exact dimensions of the regular Holbrooks 
These are the regular Holbrooks. Okay? As a matter of fact, the frame width is actually bigger on the regular Holbrooks at 140. Okay? Uh, let's go to the XL Holbrooks. 140.3. This is why I say I know numbers don't lie, but in this case, materials and everything makes a whole lot of difference. Now, I know we're, gonna, we're, we're supposed to be talking about the TI, and I'm sorry for drifting to different topics, but when it comes to Oakley shades and maybe just in everything in general, are you not concerned of what you're buying and um, how they fit? You know, especially if they're not in stores. So yeah, so that's that's why I had to make that make that shit clear. Okay, so here you go. Here's the lenses, right? Here's the lenses. Okay, here's a, a two bridge system right there. One here and then one here, right? And then instead of instead of closed closed portion and a rivet, okay. It's open on this one. And man, it looks nice in person, bro. Like I, I wore this and I looked at myself in the mirror and I'm like, God damn, the shades look good. I don't know if I look good, but the shades look fucking awesome, right? So instead of the rivets, check that out. That's how they look. You see that shit right there. Okay, okay. There you go, okay? And none of that big Oakley sign anymore, right? Instead, you get this. And I love it. I love how. So I know there's a. Let me see. Let me see the name of it. Okay, where I was alluding to was that. Um, like I said, I've always been a fan of Holbrooks, right? Always been a fan of Holbrooks, and um, even from before, I've always, I've always wanted a premium feeling Holbrook, right? And then Oakley then came up with either the Holbrook Mix or the oakley metals okay i've tried the oakley metals on and for some reason they, they they just they're just not me okay they're just not me and i i don't want it but now that they came up with the oakley titaniums now i have a more premium feeling in this okay and look at here here's the here's the sides here's the stems on them okay and this is what I was talking about, about the adjustable nose bridge. And the reason why I need to be specific and tell you guys how they are and why they're called adjustable is because of the, these portions right here. You guys can either, if you have a uh, wider nose, you guys can widen this up. If you guys have a narrower nose, then you guys can tighten this up by pushing them inward. That's why they're adjustable. Whereas the regular Holbrooks, okay, they don't have that feature. They just have the the typical three-point system. This has an adjustable three-point system. As I have explained, again, if you guys have a narrow nose, then you guys can push, push, push this in. And if you got a wider nose, you can pull, pull, pull this wider. All right. I hope uh, that explains it. I know, like I said, I babble too much. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, put that in the comment section but I guess it's time for me to wear this and show you guys how they look all right here we go okay so uh, we're at the park right now we're gonna do an on face look out of these shades all right so I know I'm wearing a cap but just in case you guys do wear caps also all right, this is how it's gonna look okay here's my left side okay front side right side right there take off the cap okay so the reason why I like these types of shades, this one in particular, I have other ones that has uh, adjustable hinges or adaptable hinges. I don't know if, uh, if that's what Oakley calls it, but I, I call them that way because they are adaptable. Okay, so if we're talking about the regular XL uh, Holbrooks or the, just the regular Holbrooks, they're plastic, right? But this one got the, the adjustable hinges that I'm talking about. Okay, like I said, I have a, a wide ass circumference of my head, right? Especially on the sides so when you look at my head right there look at I want you guys to take a look at okay these part the, this part right here the hinge portion all right because typically if it's just a plastic it's this one that has the stress on the shades it's not the hinges okay but the adjustable hinges this is what happens 
Okay, so I put them on, right? Take a look at the hinges, okay? This is my white ass head. Take a look at the hinges when I put them on. See, see how they widen up, all right? They widen up themselves, okay? I'm gonna show you um, later how the plastic reacts if I, I uh, spread out that the stems on the on the plastics in comparison to this. But this is the reason why I would, regardless of the numbers that it shows on the dimensions, if it's got a, adjustable hinges like these one does, okay, there's no problem. You got white ass head like me, and no problem. It it does widen up, but at the same time, it's a uh, it adjusts by itself. And in comparison to the plastics. It creates stress on your temples whereas this one it doesn't okay that's the main point of this that's why I needed I needed to show you guys the way it looks when I put them on all right again this is how they look okay again to my right to my left and back in the studio or back at my damn table all right so now that you guys have seen me wear it Tell me what you guys think about the shades. Uh, are you guys interested in this or not? Um, did they look good or anything like that? And again, if you guys have any questions or anything of that nature, put that down in the comment section below. I'd be glad to answer them. Okay. I I was actually planning on uh, showing you guys uh, different comparisons to different shades and Oakley shades and uh, how, how the wind as uh, compared to everything else but um, that will go on a case-by-case uh, -case basis but again one of the reasons why I like this is because in comparison to the plastics right like plastics yeah you guys can see them extend but you're extending from here you're not extending from the stem portion of it right you guys can see the stretch on the stem or I mean the nose bridge like that's the one extending when I'm pulling off here right whereas in comparison to this even if it has like a smaller uh smaller width frame okay and i don't trust oakley's numbers they just feel different because of materials look at this look okay the hinges on the stems are the ones that actually move it's not it's not the nose bridge or the titanium in the frame portion it's the hinges the hinges makes a difference that's why even if let's just say the numbers were right okay that's why it still feels comfortable on my wide head all right so there you go i want to thank you guys for watching i want to thank you guys for your support if you guys enjoy the video hit that like button if you guys want to support the channel hit that subscribe button if you guys have anything to ask anything to say hit all right something down in the comment section below again i want to thank you guys for watching Thank you guys for your support. It's your boy Diesel signing off. Peace out.